can't get back to that. No. Okay. This um, Ibis chick that's under anaesthesia here at the moment, um, just under anaesthesia, um, has been putting all its weight on this leg and obviously on a, well not obviously, but on a, a suspected uh, previously unbalanced diet, things have given away here and the leg now has a callus across here where it's um, bent and broken and deviating. So this bone here and this bone here should be in alignment. So effectively we've got maybe 30 degrees in turning of the leg at this point here. So what I'm about to do is to refracture the leg at that point. very slowly and I'm imagining microscopically fibre after fibre and just breaking not the whole thing cracking open or anything like that um, but just microscopically fibres of the callus um, breaking and stretching and realigning. There's a lot of energy going to this, both physical energy and intent energy. As I've expressed before, there's always a request for help and a thank you for the help that is flowing. So we've now made some progress there, but it's not in the not staying in the alignment that we want. Right, so we're when we relax it's improved over what it was, looking at it face on there, like that, uh, but it's not quite right yet. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. <laughs> they weren't blackbirds that were baked in the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this is a game of patience, and people who start doing this the first time tend to be impatient or get impatient, and um, then you can end up with compound fractures, which we aspire to avoid. It does happen, however, if we can avoid it, it's better. So, alright, so an improvement, not quite everything that we want yet. But So we can see now that we've managed to overcorrect the thing if I hold pressure on the on the foot and there and, and use my thumb point as a pivot we've now got the leg more than straight so we're now at a point where I can apply an external pin apparatus to keep it straight we hope so that'll be the next step all right so